PeachTools.com. G'day guys, Pete from Peach Tools, how are we all going today? Another beautiful day on my side of the planet. Hey, if you guys have been watching any of my videos, you know that I normally MIG weld with this 250 amp MIG welder, and it's quite large really, it's really sort of huge. So what I thought I'd do today guys, is we'll have a look and see what you get for a multi-process welder, just a little welder. Because you guys are not going to need something this big when you're just starting to learn to weld anyway, that's what I think. And because I brought a flame weld plasma cutter the other day, and I was quite impressed with it really, I got myself a flame weld welder now, a MIG, TIG and ARC. So anyway guys, that's what this video is about. We'll do the unboxing on this and we'll see what you actually get. Yeah! So guys, it's like Christmas time here again today. I love new toys. Toys. Tools, I mean. Not toys. But are toys. I love new tools. New stuff to play with. You know how it is. Uh, if you watch my other videos here, you see I bought myself a new plasma cutter after 10 years. Like I say, it's a flame weld thing. So I thought I'd get myself a flame weld multi-process welder. And just see if it's any good. So what we're going to do now is unbox it. And we'll see what you get. And then, by the way, guys, this, this is about two hundred dollars, two hundred US dollars. This machine cost me. So we'll unbox it and see what you get, eh? <laughs> so the plasma cutter cost me two hundred bucks, guys, and now the welders cost me two hundred bucks. So a total investment of four hundred dollars, and you can start welding in your garage. So let's have a look, see what we've got. Once again, I shipped this halfway across the world, so we'll see what you get for your two hundred bucks. Well packed once again guys, I'm quite surprising how good this stuff turns up considering that I'm a long long way away from anyone and it turns up pretty good nick actually, I'm quite surprised, get rid of that. <laughs> right, what do we got? So this is how it's packed guys, not too bad at all, we've got an instruction book, have to make some room here Pete. We've got our basic machine, doesn't look like it's smashed up or anything, cool, it looks cool. Pull that out of there. We can get rid of some of these boxes and stuff, that'll be a good start as well. Oh, we've also got this, guys. This must be all the doofers and bits and pieces, so we'll stick that to one side. And we'll get rid of this box. <laughs> Righty, eighty, Coyote. What do we actually got here, guys? So it looks like it arrived all in one piece, guys. It's not knocked around or anything like that, which is all good. It's got to be a bonus, doesn't it? Because there's a hell of a long way to send it back if it's not going to work. Get rid of that, Pete. And what do we got? This is 160 amp, guys. So we've got a, um, a MIG, TIG, and an ARC. So, not too bad. It's all electronic by the look of it as well. It's all in good nick. Cool. So like I said, guys, we get a good user manual, which has got to be a bonus, especially when you're a three-in-one machine. There's got to be a few bits and pieces that I'm going to have to brush up on. And then we'll have a look what accessories we got, guys. What do we get? We got... A gas hose, cool. we've got an adapter from 220 volts to 110, we've got, we've got an earth lead which we'll probably do with upgrading like I do with all my machines, and we've got a welding rod holder, and that's got about a 3 or 4 meter lead on it as well. We've got some thread seal tape and a couple of new contact tips here for the uh, MIG torch. We've got a spanner. And what have we got here? And we've got some flux core welding wire, which is awesome. It saves you having to buy it the first time around. And it's 0.8mm wire, guys. Now, like I say, guys, it's 200 bucks. 199 I think, or 205 or something like that. It's about $200 this machine, plus all the accessories. But I noticed first off that you don't get a, um, a TIG torch with it. So if you want to do TIG welding, I think you're going to have to buy a TIG torch separately. Not that that's any big deal, but um, so it's only really a two-in-one welder, isn't it? So I'm going to do some reviews on this machine, guys, just that I couldn't wait to show you what I got. I love opening new stuff on the camera for you fellas. And then, then if you go and buy it yourself, you know exactly what you're getting, eh? So just remember, if you get one of these machines, it doesn't come with a TIG torch, guys. Right, so what do we actually got here, guys? It's not a bad looking machine. Here, I'll zoom in, you can have a look. So guys, I think we've got about a 3 meter lead on our MIG torch here. Let's have a look, see how long it is. 
I loved you toys. I mean tools. Yeah, they were about maybe three metres long, guys. Two and a half, three metres long, which is ideal if you're doing welding close to your table and that sort of thing. Like if I was to use this, I would have this sitting on my workbench over here and I'd just be welding here. It's not going to be much use if you want to weld like three or four metres from your machine because it's not detachable here. If you have a look here guys, you see that the torch here is actually attached to the machine. It hasn't got like a Euro connector to, to unclip it. But I mean for a starter welder, if you're just learning to weld, this is all you're going to need. Just to, just to get your feet in the water, you know, dip a toe in the water and see how you go. I don't think there's any point in spending heaps and heaps of money on a machine that you're not only going to use maybe once or twice a month. Or maybe you might even start welding and then you decide you don't like it. Or maybe you might try a MIG and then decide that you want to go into arc welding or TIG welding. So you don't have to buy three separate machines. You can just buy one little machine like this and it's just cheap as chips. And then if you like it, you like it. You move on as you, as you progress through your welding. You move on to bigger and better stuff. But you know, as a start off machine, this is looking all right so far. Mind you, I'm going to do some reviews on this machine and put it through its paces and actually see what the bloody thing can do. <laughs> So if you notice here guys, we've also got the option that we can go gasless or flux core. At the moment it's plugged into flux core. See, it's just this wire here alters the uh, polarity of your torch over here. So what that means is if you want to go flux core, it tells you on here, which is quite good actually. It actually tells you on here what to do. So if you want to use gas wire, then you put the this lead here into the socket here like so and now you set up for gas wire if you want to use flux core wire like this you take this lead here and then you plug it into this one here and then you automatically set up for flux core wire which is quite a good idea i reckon and the other one here the opposite one to where you plug it you plug your earth lead into so it's, it's quite basic really you don't have to muck around with all sorts of settings and other crap you just want to plug two plugs flux core non-flux core now if we want to use gas guys let me turn the little beastie around have a look there guys, there's the gas, oh, that hose I showed you before. So that hose goes in here guys, and you put that into your argon or whatever you're using, especially for TIG. I, sometimes I'll use CO2 for MIG if I'm welding with gas, but lately I've been using flux core wire, I find it's just a hell of a lot easier, and it's a lot cheaper too, especially if you're only doing a little bit of welding at a time, you don't need to be buying gas bottles and stuff, but the only gas you're going to have to have if you're going to do TIG. We've got another thing here for another earth wire if you want to earth it to your table or whatever you want to do and just an off on switch once again guys the input voltage is between 110 volt and 220 which is ideal for me because in New Zealand we actually run on about 230 to 240 so I can uh, give it a bit more oomph <laughs> so guys the uh, MIG welding torch is a stand and it looks like an AK-15 torch which is a 150 160 amp torch just your basic torch nothing very special about it and it's just got the push-on nozzle. Some of them have a screw-on nozzle, which I find they're a little bit more expensive. And the nozzle holder here has got a left-hand thread on it, of course. But you don't have to worry about that. All you gotta do is just keep your nozzle clean. Keep your nozzle clean, Pete. Yeah! So we have a look up here, guys. I like this, I really like this. It gives you a chart. It tells you where to set up your welder if you're not quite sure how to install the wire and all sorts of other bits and pieces. So that's really, really ideal if you're a newbie to welding. Because there's nothing worse if you don't know how to set up your machine. I remember I struggled for bloody months, really, trying to learn how to set up the machine so I could just get it to stick some shit together, you know? <laughs> right there, guys, let's have a look at the uh, the MIG reel and the other bits and pieces. See so here, it's just got a, the side that opens up so we can put our roll of MIG wire in there. We undo like so. Oh, that's not too bad, eh? I'll zoom in on that, guys, so you can have a look. We've got our wire roller feeler here. Feeler, 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 feeler. We've got our wire roller feeder here and our brake mechanism here for our roller wire. So like I say guys, I'll do some reviews on this machine but I'm just showing you what, what we got. And that roller wire here goes in there like so and it can obviously take a little bit bigger roller wire than that. I think this is, uh, how many pound is that? This is half a kilo, so what's half a kilo? It's about a pound and a half or something. This is about two and a half pound to a kilo or something like that. So you probably take a, uh, a kilo roll of wire, which will be a little bit bigger than that. I'd say it should go on there, no worries. But anyway, we'll do that in our reviews, guys. Now another thing I noticed here, guys, is we've got pretty good drive rollers here. We have a look here, guys. We've got actual steel drive rollers. Some of these cheaper units have plastic drive rollers, 
and they're no bloody good because they just don't grip your wire when you're trying to feed it through. But once again, we'll have a look at that in the review of the machine, guys. So guys, that's about it for this unboxing video. I just wanted to show you guys what you actually got in the box if you want to buy one of these machines. The only reason I uh, got this machine was because I liked the plasma cutter, the Flamewell plasma cutter. So now basically I've got a matching set. But we'll do some reviews on this in future videos and we'll see how it goes, guys. Anyway, same as usual, like my video, subscribe, drop me a like, drop me a comment. If you've got any better, like, three-in-one welders that you want to tell me about, put it in the comments below. We can have a bit of a yarn. And if you want to see a review on the flame welder plasma cutter, check up there. And if you want to see the first time I learnt to MIG weld with flux core wire, check over there. Anyway, guys, same as usual. If you want to check out this machine for yourself, I'll put some links in the description below. See you later, guys. Bye. Pete's Tools.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.com.